In this video, I'm going to show one method on how to make an SRT file. There's other ways to do it. One way to make an SRT file available to YouTube users is their transcribe and auto sync method. This video demonstrates exactly that. The process overview that I use, step one, upload a video into the channel. I usually make it private so nobody can see it. Then I go to the transcription area of that uploaded video, click on the transcribe and autosync button, and paste in dictation that you found elsewhere. This kind of gives you a head start. Let the tool, the YouTube tool, auto time the text. Afterwards, it becomes an exercise in editing. The transcriptions out there leave a great deal to be desired. Punctuation, just errors, timing tool is usually off, and your preferences may be different. So there's a little bit of editing required, a lot of bit of editing required for these. Before I demonstrate this process, know for sure you can get an SRT file from other sources, but I found it to be hard to come by. People sell them, and again, your personal preferences may differ from what you end up with. I will transcribe an entire two minute song called No Stopping Love. This is a no copyright sound release. Note that there's four different ways to move around in, within the YouTube transcription tool and there's two ways to input text. This is an overview of this video series. Video one is already created. Introduction to SRTs. This is video number two. How to make an SRT file. So this is the demonstration of the process of making an SRT file. Step one, download a video. I like to use WinX YouTube Downloader. This is it. Here I'm bringing up the video that I'm going to transcribe. They have a lot of songs. This is the song itself that I'm going to transcribe. It's two minutes long. Note that I could download the song from here, the MP3 file, from their link. They only require credits, but you can use their music. I'm going to copy this link and use this tool here, and you'll see why. It's analyzing. And this is why, because I can see what I'm downloading, the quality of sound and the quality of the video. It goes into my downloads folder here, WinX Downloads, and there's the song. There's the video. I like to look at it. Yep, that's the one. Next, upload it to YouTube. This video presumes that you know how to do these kinds of things. Meanwhile, you can look here just in case you don't already know how. You drag and drop the video into the YouTube uploader. It's a short song. It uploads quickly. It processes quickly as well. Note that I set this to private. Click done. It's now ready for me. I can click on that link to get to it, or I can go in through YouTube Studio. It won't be in the regular videos area. You can go into Creator Classic or the other one, the beta. Once in the video, click Transcriptions, Add, which brings you to three different methods that they have to deal with SRTs. This is transcribe and autosync. This video, this is how you set that up. We're going to find some lyrics someplace and paste them in. Here's a version that I can copy easy enough. Copy, paste, Set timings. So I click on this box here so that I can get to the transcribe and set timings screen. This is where all the magic happens. Position your mouse over pause and kind of wait for the lyrics to start. You can hear the music and you can see the lyrics print on the screen. They go in conjunction with that red line. You can click and hold and move that red line. Here I'm adjusting the brackets click and hold and drag them 
click play play adjust resume you can also move forward or back using that little slidey bar at the bottom click and hold it and scooch it around the auto sync is typically way off meanwhile it does give you a start you can edit the text within the stanza boxes themselves or you can enter the text in the top and click the blue plus sign and it inserts right where the cursor is adjust rewind play another way to reposition the cursor is to click the boxes up and down it positions at the beginning of the stanza boxes and some notes here I've learned to make three separate runs at these SRT file creations. First I do my crude edits, then I make a quality control run, followed by one final quality check. Because there's nothing like seeing published mistakes. Click the language here to re-edit it. Click on actions and left click on SRT. 
this will actually download the SRT. It saves in downloads folder. Show in folder, open it up, and there it is. A two minute song completely transcribed. With this SRT file, I can make a lyrics video or I can enable closed captioning. I can translate it into other languages. Stick a fork in this one, it's done.